Here we are, everyone. How is it going? Welcome to another episode of my Subnautica adventure. Thank you so very much for being here. I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing night. This is where we are right now. We discovered a new wreck over by the island next to the Aurora almost. And we found a new suit, top right, a water filtration suit, which I definitely want to make today. It's going to be, it's the funniest thing. It was the funniest blueprint in this whole game. It just takes, uh, well, let's just say it makes homemade water, I guess. It was, it was definitely so funny. It's so awesome. So we're going to be making that. Uh, and there's a reaper around here. Over in that direction, I'm pretty sure. Now, I want to go explore a tiny bit more in this direction, everyone. I don't know if that's smart or if it's dumb, but... <laughs> While we're ready over here, and I mean, this could be something. We got something going on over here. Yeah, because uh, we need to go way deeper. So we have a massive trip with our Cyclops and stuff. Definitely going to be happening at some point. But while we're still up here, let's explore a tiny bit. Because I feel like this is the one area I haven't seen a whole lot of. Like with the, the other side of the Aurora as well. Uh, how are we looking on resources right now? Let's take a look and do a bit of an inventory check. We have a bunch of stuff for food. I'm just going to eat that gel sack, because why the heck not? <laughs> we got some titanium. We do need water. What's going on over here? Oh, this is it. We're on day 144, everyone. Day 144. I can't believe that. And this is what, episode 30-6-ish? Like, <laughs> I think we started this series in March of 2023 and it's already july i can't believe that if y'all have been here throughout this whole experience or if you're just finding it that is just unreal thank you so much for being here should we go this way everyone i think this is kind of bringing us back the way there are definitely a lot of resources in here oh we just got a, a warper who's protecting that's always a good sign oh my god Sorry, everyone. Sorry, first jump scare of the video. It's always around like the same spot. Is that the wreck we just came from? Look at the warper still trying to hit me. Oh, this is, is this the wreck we just came from everyone? I think we just did a loop. I'm pretty sure we just did a loop, right? Oh yeah, this is the wreck. Yep, yep. But I didn't grab this. Why don't we grab this one? Wasn't good enough for us? Give me water, please. Look at that, we manifested it. Let's drink up. I just wanted to go look a little bit more, I guess, while it's daytime. How's the Reaper doing? Yeah, I see him over there. Let's go check the other side of this thing. Uh, it's only like one Reaper. I'm pretty sure he's the one that took our habitat builder, that jerk. I'm gonna go above. I don't know if that's dumb or not. Just wanted to look a tiny bit, see if there's anything else worth seeing over here. Oh man, it's just there's so much. And there's another Reaper. Is that the one from the observatory? There's just Reapers all over the place. Oh yeah, he's right over there, but he doesn't see us. Well, he's swimming this way. He's swimming this way like he sees us. Can you, what happens if you get two Reapers side by side? We've had two... Is he... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Where do you go? Bro, I'm going down. <laughs> I'm going down. I don't even know. This is just crazy. We are getting immersed. Why? Is there a warper around here? Again? Is he, like, right here? There he is. He's like right here. What are you protecting though? Wow. Shh. Look at me. He's right here. Out of all the places he could possibly be. What's going on? We have anything good? Not really. Oh, what are you protecting, man? Don't do it. Just don't even. Don't even, Reaper. We're not trying to do that. Just want to go explore. 
want to make sure we didn't miss anything. We need to go that way, but let's just go see what this Reaper was protecting really fast. Oh, crap. Well, that might be... No, no, he doesn't see us. We're good. We're good. Is that a different Reaper than the one that's right over here? It can't be. He can't be. Like, why is he goose guarding us? Oh my gosh. He's right next to us, man. And I just crashed. Crashing right into it. There's another Reaper here. Dude, these are all different Reapers. One, two, three different Reapers up in here. I need to. I need to see what. why are they all here. There's something. There's another one right there. I can't believe there's so many Reapers out here, guys. They're protecting something. I know it. We we do have the electricity that we can use. We're, we're going to sneak around this guy. I might need to get out. Bro, that thunder is back, everyone. <laughs> if it starts storming. Oh my gosh. Get the repair tool. Wow. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Quickly, quickly. Repair tool. It's the laser cutters getting me. Repair it. Repair. Repair. Not Reaper. Repair, please. I'm going to go a little bit this way. I'm curious. What are you hiding over here, Reaper? He's protecting something. I know he is. <laughs> You're guarding something. I can't believe this. It's just so awesome. Ah, <sighs> We're going to look. So this is definitely, this is the Reaper biome right here. Just so many. Is this Warper still after us? There are still Warpers here going after us, everyone. Now, the Warpers and the Reapers hate each other, supposedly. I really want to try to see what happens if you throw them next to each other. Anything? It's so quiet. It's really quiet. I'm going to see if this is important. Cyclops engine, we have that. There's got to be something here. There's got to be something here. I know there is. I know it. There are so many Reapers. There has to be something important here. Ah, this is just awful. I think I swam right into one. 58% power. Wow. There's got to be something really important here. I know there has to be. I can feel it. I can feel it, everyone. At least these Reapers are chilling. <laughs> this is so awesome. This wasn't the plan, everyone. I wasn't... Originally, when I sat down, I wasn't planning to be here and, and just explore a bit, but... Here we are. <sighs> I'm seeing something. What's going on over here, too? One moment, one moment, everyone. Let's just look down here. This thing's actually going deeper. Okay, we have to remember the way out. Is there anything else? What's going on with this? Like, the sand is kicking up. Oh, it's just this thing. It's like a secret passageway. Okay, so just resources. I kid you not, as soon as I sit down to record everyone, that's when Mother Nature is like, <laughs> just starts thundering like crazy. Oh, send your energy so we can get a good recording session and it's going to be a chill episode, everyone. Not a super long one. Okay. Now here's the thing though. Here's the thing. Which, which way was the wreck? It wasn't this wreck. I saw another one. Wait one second. Let's go back into this. Find the opening that goes up. I refuse to believe it was the same wreck we've already seen a billion times. There's no way. I realize we're probably just doing circles again. In classic <laughs> dreamality fashion. Just chasing our own tail. That's alright. Feels amazing to be playing this nonetheless. Yeah, let's go over here. 
53% charge. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, this looks like it could lead to something. 90% health. We're okay. Everything's fine. How's it going, Reaper? <laughs> I'm gonna keep... I don't think he saw us. He's good. He's chilling, dude. He is chilling. He's not worried about us. Whoa, just kidding. Just kidding. He is... <laughs> Reaper, come on, just relax. Just relax, okay? Wow. Can we please not? Can we please not right now? I'm just trying to explore a little bit. I'm exploring. You're enjoying your life. He's going after that warper. <laughs> He's successful, Juke. I don't think we can do that when it hits, uh, when nighttime hits, though, everyone. I don't think we're gonna get that lucky. Okay, okay, so this leads into the bulb zone. Interesting. Okay. Well, I thought there would be maybe something new out here. There probably is. But I, I, I can't find it. I don't know what, what it would be. Oh, like this. This looks so sus, right? Hmm. Maybe there's something at the very top. I wonder if I should get out and just repair this really fast. I'm going to. Really, really fast. Let's just repair this. Okay. Alright, let's get the heck out of here, everyone. Let's go back. Let's build our... Um, water filtration. Which we don't need a whole lot for that. Everything's cool, right? We're not missing. We're not missing anything. Yo, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna eat one of these. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> no, it's so proud upon. Dang, he's right there. He's good. He's good, everyone. Look, the Reaper and the Warper. Wow, they're fighting each other. It's too violent. Who won, everyone? Who won? <laughs> well, there's the Reaper. I'm not seeing the Warper right now. He might be going back. Dang, that Reaper just killed that Warper. Okay. I guess we're... Pretty much done here. I think this is literally going to be the loop again, and there's that rack. I mean, should we look to the right of this Reaper? We didn't really look over on this side. See if there's anything important. Pretty sure it's just the island stuff, but... Oh, we've got another Reaper. I can't believe there are so many Reapers in this area. I thought there were a bunch of Reapers over by the Aurora. Like, circling the Aurora, you know? When in reality, there are a ton here. That is so awesome. I can't believe it. I almost went this entire game without knowing that. This is why it's so cool that we just, we keep exploring, right? It's totally worth it. And we're going to have some awesome building fun over when we go back down below. Bring our base down there. That's going to be sick. Okay, what do we got, everyone? What do we got? Is this the this is the edge of the map, I believe? How deep are we? Yeah, this is the edge of the map. No, don't go any more down. All right. The only other thing I can really think of was there were the the island was here and the other alien buildings were here. Here we are. Yep. Just in case I missed the entrance to this thing. <laughs> Because, believe it or not, I've actually missed an entrance before. Oh, uh, this... I wonder if this could be a warping thing. That would be really cool. Like, an underwater warper. We do have a cube on us, just in case. Anything. Don't miss it. 
it's if it's a massive massive opening just don't miss it that was definitely such a uh, funny moment though i think he's attacking our thing but just wanted to double check down here really quick and there's only one more side maybe we can put the cube here that'd be so cool no okay so there's no point to this this one Maybe we have to get a reaper to to crash into it. Well, let's go down more. I guess this way would kind of lead us to where we were, right? This was the rest of the alien base, which is just awesome. We're gonna have to return there someday. Oh my gosh! Don't do it, man! Please, please, dude! I can't see. Where did my where did my seamoth go? It is so dark. All right, we're going home. We are going home, everyone. I could have swore I saw another wreck down there, though, but... Let's go build this water filtration suit. Am I swimming right up to this guy? No. He is right there. So, is there, like, a cave he's blocking or something? It's a dangerous game. Dang, you're still going after us? Come on, relax. You would not chase me into the mushroom forest. Reaper? No, he's good. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Come on. That'd be so crazy if you actually chased us into this. Yeah, the Reapers, though, I mean, come on now. I know we've been through a lot with them. They just, they have, they're very territorial, right? So where does this bring us? Hmm. I think our mushroom base is like right around here as well. Let's just turn on the beacon. For our mushroom base that we will be taking apart. Yep, it's right here. Super close. We can check in on our, what was that? Oh yeah, just random salt. We can check in on our uh, Cyclops as well. <laughs> oh, we haven't been to this base in so long. Yeah, there's the alien vent. Man. It's gonna be tough the day that we have to say goodbye to this game. It's gonna be a tough one, everyone. Sorry to all the fish that I crashed into throughout this whole playthrough. We're going around. We're going the cool way. Here we are. So nice. We got plenty of gel sacks. I really wanted the water. It's been a minute. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yikes. Alright, let's quickly grab just some gel sacks. <laughs> let's grab all of these. And we're going to be throwing some gel sacks into our make sure we don't get rid of the nutrient block into our cyclops as well if we can find a way to bring those with us or maybe not the gel sack but maybe the that one tree whatever let's grab this water there we go don't worry sunny it's all taken care of oh we have a nice battery here can quickly swap this one out so what do we need we need copper guys if we have copper we can make this suit right here one copper two copper beautiful synthetic let me just go ahead and at least start by making this and then we need some kind of fiber thing i think let's double check we need this one Fiber mesh. And we need blood oil. Okay. I don't think we have a whole lot of those. And what else? One more thing. A gel sack and a ruby. Well, we've got the ruby right here. We'll go get the gel sack right now. We gotta plant a bunch of them as well. 
Let's get the knife out. You already know. Yo, I can't believe there's a bone shark here again, though. Stay away from my garden! Just trying to garden in peace right now. Plant one more. We have the seed right here. Okay, let's go make this thing. And then blood oil. That one's going to be a bit of a stretch. We have them in our main base, I'm pretty sure. Awesome. Yep, we just need three of the blood oil. I mean, we could make a stop. Let me, let's just look. I am pretty darn sure we do not have it here, though. Yep. In that case, maybe we'll make a quick stop over in the blood kelp zone. Look at our sea sloth. <laughs> Oh, man, the only other thing I would love to try is the other side of the Aurora. Just explore over there. Just take a look out of curiosity. What is over there? There might be something really great. Where is our sea, the sea moth? Mothality, I mean. Yeah, the sea moth. Okay, so 35%, I guess we'll go around this way. If we go this way, it will bring us to, yeah, the blood kelp zone. All right, we're making our way over to the blood kelp zone. Let me know, everyone, what games you're playing these days. Are y'all still playing through Subnautica? Is anyone playing through it right now? What other games? I play so many. Uh, I've been playing some Octopath Traveler 2 off stream, off the YouTube channel, and it's been so much fun. And if you all have any recommendations, fire away. I'm also really excited and happy to say that, whoa, wait, 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 what am I doing here, dude? Wait, this is, isn't this the blood kelp zone? Did I just go completely the wrong way? <laughs> is this the same one? That was the reaper we just ran away from. That is too funny. We went towards the island, I think. I'm gonna go all the way up. He's not chasing us. Dang, this is the island, right? Oh yeah, 32%. We're going to have to start bringing some extra power cells and stuff with us. So we don't keep running into this problem. But I'm, what I was going to say is we are officially, thanks to Taste the Wine, the Legend, there will be a future Subnautica Below Zero playthrough on this channel. It is official, everybody. So if you are excited for that, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely subscribe. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely awesome. I haven't seen anything about that game, so. In no rush to complete this one, though, as y'all know. Taking my time on the, the sloth. <laughs> I'm living up to that. Let's see. Yeah, I want to say the Blood Cup Zone is, like, right around here. And I can't wait to see what, what else is down beneath us. Right? We got to see a tiny bit of the Lava Zone. But the next time we go down there, we're going to build a base... And then we're really gonna, gonna be able to go explore and see. And I heard some, I don't know what it was, some kind of creature down there. It did not sound too happy. <laughs> Sounded like something that wants to hurt us. Okay, there's our home. So it's gotta be like right in this direction. It's a massive mushroom forest right now. Yep, here's the famous drop, 27%. Here we go, everyone. Let's grab a bunch of these. Well, they take up so much inventory space, but... Let's grab them. Boom, boom, and... That's three. Look at that, that's already taking up, like, all our space. I might try planting more of these. No crab squids, so that's good. That's always, uh... Always scary to hear that sound. Nice. Okay. Now, do we need anything else? I I don't think we really need anything else. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> now we're really going back home. We're going to make this water filtration suit. Oh, man. This is going to be so nice. And I know we need to go lower where the temperature is going to be very high. 
So we're going to have to get rid of the water filtration suit, I imagine, because it's going to be so hot down there. But I at least I have to make it. I have to make it, everyone. I have to see what it's all about. <laughs> the description was just way too good. You know, it, it feels weird, but I, I got to drink that water. Right? This is just too funny. Oh, we have almost everything. We have a bunch of the creep vine over by our base. I'm pretty sure that's what we need, right? How's it going, RB? Great to see ya. We are officially at the base, everybody. How's the Sand Shark army doing? <laughs> so many of them. Let's go. Can we see the Mesmers? Oh, yeah, the Mesmers are still around. That is great. I'm going to try planting another one of these. Actually, I'm going to plant two of them. And with that, we can grab all this. You know, it doesn't even matter. I'm doing it the wrong way. We need to... We need to charge this thing anyway. So. Hello, everyone. They're so happy to see me. What the heck is going on? I'm, like, stuck. <laughs> Dude, get me out of here. Oh my goodness. All this just like spawned. <laughs> it's complete chaos. Okay, what's the best way to get out of here? Through this? <laughs> it's a little obstacle course. Oh, that is awesome. We got pillars, right? We've got all of the sand sharks. Welcome aboard, Captain. We're back home. I'm always happy to return to this base, everyone. Okay, so that's charging. Now we can go make this thing really fast. I'm pretty sure we have an extra power cell as well. Anything on the radio? Nope. So we got a sand shark right here. This is the infected sand shark, no less. Uh, so we do need to make this. And then the last thing we need... Oh, you can actually just hover over like this. Why the heck have I not been doing that? Oh, I... I I really surprise myself, everyone. I really surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> you can just look right here and be like, oh, this is what I need. You don't have to pin each one individually. I, I guess, you know? I guess it makes sense because you can only really see while you're in this menu. So now I don't feel as bad. But we do need two creep vine. So with that, let's go get the creep vine. Right over here, we've got some, which is great. Here we go. That's two. <laughs> oh, are we going to have a bunch of crab squids in there now? We did hatch a crab squid, and we hatched a stalker. I'm not sure if we're going to have multiple stalkers, though, because I only put one in there, from what I remember. So, we do need... We don't need that. But we do need this. And we also need... What am I... What are you missing? Yeah, we just gotta make this right here. Boom. That's all she wrote, everyone. Now we can make this awesome new suit. Let's go. Let's go. You guys ready for this? <laughs> Water filtration suit reclaims moisture from the body and provides clean drinkable water hook me up a new suit that's great water filtration suit equipped and capturing body moisture <laughs> to chemically neutralize residual odors press the activation button in the next three seconds you have chosen oh, not to activate oh, chemical are you serious? neutralization <laughs> thank you and have a nice day oh <laughs> you're trolling me <laughs> You are trolling me. Come on now. Here we go. We don't need it. It's all good. That is too good, man. That's awesome. Okay, well. Is there an extra power cell around here? We do have this one fully charged. So we can go explore a tiny bit. We'll get a bit of food. Let's get rid of... It's already 70%, man. That thing charges so fast. Let's get rid of all this titanium. We have the titanium. We'll bring that with us. I'm going to leave behind these nutrient blocks. 
leave those behind, but we'll bring, we can leave the ruby. This is only supposed to be titanium. We're about to have a massive trip ahead of us, everyone. So who knows if this locker is even going to still be here. Uh, we have the cannon. We have this in case we find something else. All right, rock and roll. We'll bring water with us. And let's go check on our aquarium, our alien containment. <laughs> wait, wait, what happened with the mesmers? I got rid of all of you. I thought we got rid of all the mesmers. I guess not. How many crab squids are we talking about in here? Got a bunch of eggs. How's it going? That is a bit terrifying. You are a bit scary crab squid. Oh, I really want to see one of these things, you know, be born and stuff, but it's so random. It can take forever. Yo, if you've played this game, what was the first creature that you bred, right? What alien species did you do first? And did you stick around? Have you actually seen what it looks like? I want to do that. I want to just wait, but, you know, we're busy, guys. We're very busy. Well, everyone, we should be fully charged and ready to go. Yep, 99% complete. We have our suit. Let's get rid of everything from our... Unpin all of that. Get rid of all of it. And now we should be fully charged. It is time to get out of here. But we should do a different color. Let's do a... We're going to be rocking that red. It's going to be a very nice red. And the stripe will be... Be like a red with the blue. How's that? And the interior, it's a bit like a gold or whatever this is. Okay. It's time to get out of here. 79% health. Oh, you know what, actually? We are going to do a very fast battery swap. Okay. Super fast while we're ready here. And then we'll go explore a tiny bit around the Aurora. And then we'll get rid of... Uh, well, so we have to get ready to start moving, everyone. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Let's get out of here. What is up? Gel Rays in the building. Great to see you. Hello, hello, hello. We're back at the new home, everyone. I'm not trying to enter the, uh, the sea sloth. Not yet, but it will happen. Okay. I'd like for it to be daytime so I can actually see what's going on. Okay. Well, I guess something we're going to do, something we can do really fast is enter the Cyclops here. Take a look at our power situation. Does it does it tell us? Pilot. <laughs> How are we looking on power right now? 96%. I am turning on the power. Oh, we got to build all the upgrades and stuff too. I wanted to bring this closer. So we don't have to just keep going back and forth. Whoa, what happened? Let's go like right here. This is perfect. Okay, cool. So now I am shutting it off. Powering down. Very nice. Okay, 96%. That's not bad. Let's change the color in this thing as well. We haven't really messed around with that. Let's put it at a very nice... We're going to do a very... Um, I'm thinking... Let's do that dark blue. We're going to go with the dark blue, everyone. And with the stripe... We're going to go with like a yellow and stripe two. We're going to go with a red. Boom. Makes perfect sense. Oh, I've got that one dive suit with me. The reinforced dive suit. I guess we can actually leave that here. There it is. We don't need it where we're going. Now I shot everything off, so we should be fine. This is just so awesome. <laughs> that is great. Yeah, we're gonna be breaking all of this down. We gotta bring all of this with us as well.
All right. Yo, I think we just made some water. We just made some water, everyone. Look, reclaimed water. <laughs> no way it counts as minus food. What? Purified reclaimed body water. That is too funny. Well, cheers, everyone. <laughs> that is so awesome. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's get out of here. The sun is here, right? It's a new day, I'm pretty sure. And what we're going to do is we're going to go explore around the Aurora really fast. While on the other side, just see if there's anything there. I know there are probably going to be some Reapers. I want to see if there's anything else over there. Let's go. Where's the sea moth? It is. What did we crash into earlier? Don't tell me it was the sea moth. Yo. Am I going crazy, dude? What? Wait. What happened? Wait a second. Yo, did did something destroy my sea moth? Did the bone shark destroy my sea moth? Yo, guys. Cyclops prawn suit. When did this happen? <laughs> Wait, wait. Oh my. I can't believe that. <laughs> I just watched the footage back. I just watched the footage back and I'm pretty sure what happened is I was driving the Cyclops and I just ran right over the sea moth. And I didn't think it would do that much damage. I thought maybe, you know, it would kind of just move out of the way. Not the case. That thing blew up. I wanted to bring this closer so we don't have to just keep going back and forth. Whoa, what happened? Let's go like right here. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. That makes me feel awful if that's actually the case. <laughs> that is so bad. The worst survivor in Subnautica history. I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure, unless like a bone shark, unless a bone shark just started attacking it or something, but I'm, I'm like 90% sure I think we blew up our, our sea moth, we blew up mothality too, and that hurts, that really stings because it was a bunch of upgrades, we have to build a sea moth, we have to build all the upgrades, oh that is just, I can't believe it, <laughs> that... The list of worst stuff I've done in this game. That list keeps going, just, it's longer and longer. Oh, and here's the thing, everyone. I can, I can quit and I can load back into the game. Because the last time I saved, I was on my way over here in the Seamoth. But, I can't do that. I can't do that. This is, if I make a dumb mistake, I make a dumb mistake. It's just, it is what it is. It is brutal, it is sad, it is humbling constantly, <laughs> it makes me laugh at myself so much, but if that's what we did, if that's the case, then you live and you learn, right? If I was on this planet right now and I drove right into that, if I somehow managed to be on this planet and stay alive for over uh, 146 days. <laughs> If that were to happen to me, there is no going back, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. It sucks, but I want to give y'all a genuine playthrough as well. This is it. This is what our survivor is going through. Well then, so we're, we have one, we do have a Seamoth Depth module somewhere. Well, this just completely changed. Our mission is different now, everyone. Let's see what it takes to build a Seamoth. We have a power cell on us. I Do we have the titanium thing? We need lubricant. We need lead. Okay. Well, let's take a look here. What can we get? We've got the lead. We actually have glass as well. So that's really nice. I'm actually just going to go make another glass really fast. 
We can do this, everyone. Don't give up on me, even though we're about to lose power. Don't give up on me, everyone. I know we can do this. We will survive this planet and have an amazing time. I love how... Oh, we have this right here. We have two of these. I love how just unpredictable all of this is. That wasn't bad at all. Look, all we need is some lubricant, which I think we have outside here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're good, everyone. We're going to be able to make another sea moth. This is going to be sea moth three. Oh, that is just... Ever since we changed the color, it was bad luck. We should have never done that. Let's go ahead and make this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe that. And I'm keeping it in. Oh man, if you all only know, if you only know the dumbest things I do. Oh, it's brutal. I am just sending myself out there to all the sharks. Oh, that is too funny. All right, well, we have all of this. Let's go ahead and see what it takes to make a level two module for the, the sea moth. We need this. Magnetite, the fancier glass. Okay. Yeah, we'll worry about that a bit later. So we need the very fancy thing, which I'm pretty sure we had it somewhere. Well, we can always use this. We have the two scanning things. All right. Let's see what it takes to make the very fancy one. We can at least start with the sea moth. Just two lithium, that's not bad at all. One, two. So we can actually make that already. I'm just going to make it, guys. I'm gonna make it. I'm pretty sure we have another one of those lying around somewhere. We didn't have anything valuable in our storage, right? <laughs> well then. Wait, wait, did we, did this, did the sea moth go in this? If the sea moth is inside this, everyone, it's probably not. Probably not in here. Oh, that was darn it! <laughs> I was <laughs> no, I ran it over, man. I thought maybe because we drove on top of it, maybe we like picked it up on the way. Oh, that is just. Come on, give me a break. And we're doing great with health right now, right? I'm just going to pilot this thing. I'm going to move us a little bit back. I hope the bone shark doesn't attack this thing. 96% charge. Just going to back this thing right up. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Where's the health on this? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Back it up a bit more, man. Those bone sharks, right? Engine powering down. Honestly, at this rate, I think I'm a bigger threat to the Cyclops than the bone sharks are. Let's get out of here. It's supposed to be such a happy moment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is awful. Let's go make that sea moth. Ah, the mobile vehicle bay. Pretty sure we have. Don't we have that somewhere? What happened to it? Where is our mobile vehicle bay, everyone? I'm just going to check the Cyclops' storage to see if there's anything here that might be worth grabbing. Oh my gosh. I just missed the alien. There's the sonar. Got the Pathfinder tool. Okay. I just missed the alien entrance a couple episodes ago. You know, you kind of have to, like, pace these dumb moments, you know, out a bit more, I feel like. <laughs> oh, it's too much. It's too much too soon. So, we have our life pod over here. Man. I can't believe that even though we destroyed it, we destroyed our sea moth. I didn't see any resources on the ground. Maybe I wasn't looking. But I didn't see anything down there. 
Oh, man. We need a secret code word. We need a secret code word, everyone. The secret code word is just... It's just... We gotta pay our respects. Just an F in the comments. You know, Fs in chat. For Seamoth 2. That we had for so many days. That was definitely a great streak. We lost the first Seamoth. Episode... 11? I'm pretty sure. Just gonna look for the mobile vehicle bay. Keeper is still in here. Yeah, here's the, the module. So that's good. We have that. I'm going to grab the storage. It's like it's meant to be, everyone. We had some extra stuff. Now we can finally utilize it. Lightweight oxygen tank. Yeah, like, where the heck is it? Is it that right there? I thought I had it above the water, but I guess not. It might be in, like, our base or something. Let me double-check our beacons. Am I completely just missing it? So, prawn suit. Degassi. ba ba, -ba -do camera. Yeah, it's not there. But it's right there. Why is there not a beacon for this thing? I feel like it should show up, right? Because that is easy to miss. <laughs> ah, this is from when we built our Cyclops, I'm pretty sure. How is there not a beacon? Come on. Alright, use the vehicle bay, everyone. Seamoth number three. You are the chosen one! I'm gonna take this Seamoth, I'm gonna go behind the Aurora and watch us lose this one as well, right? <laughs> Oh, Mothality. Sea Moth, and then we had Mothality. We gotta name this thing. Let's go down here and equip some. Change the color. And also try to make some upgrades really fast. Never a dull moment. I hope that this playthrough, at the very least, it's going to be full of dumb. Right? Many dumb moments, but I hope at the very least you're having fun, right? And I'm offering something new, because I know a lot of people have seen a ton of Subnautica playthroughs, but maybe there's something new you've seen in this one, even just one thing. Even if it's just someone with not the best moments. Okay, what are we going to do? We got to do a different color for this one. Let's do... I was thinking about rocking the stealth again. I wanted to do stealth and yo this is pretty sick like a stealth in the blue would be like that that looks pretty awesome all right we need to name this something else something that is going to stay alive and and stand the test of time here we go we're going to name this one the dreamer actually can we do like the in front of it or is there an, a word limit the dreamer <laughs> We are naming this one the Dreamer, and the second E is the number three. So, is a third C mod. That's what we did there. That is great. Let's make the name really pop. Nice light blue interior. Let's go with uh, a nice blue. Awesome. That looks perfect to me. Here it is, everyone. The Dreamer. That is so crazy. <laughs> I am not going to let you down. Come on. Oh, we lost our shocking thing too. Is what I'm realizing. Man. So, what we need now is the level 2 module. Which, for that, we need... Oh, I actually already have it. I already have it up. What am I talking about? So we need magnetite and we need the fancy glass. Magnetite, everyone, and the fancy glass. We can do that. Please tell me we have magnetite. 
I remember seeing it all over the place. We've got to have that fancy glass in here. You just need one of the fancy glass. Thank goodness. Magnetite. Come on. Oh, don't do this to me, game. Don't, don't you dare. Don't. There's nothing in this one? The heck did we build it then? Oh gosh, yeah, I really have a feeling we're not gonna have magnetite, everyone. Just two magnetite? Are you kidding me? We don't have it? Let me see how deep this thing can go. Only 300? Uh, this is just pure evil. This is terrible. Okay, I'm gonna have to go down here. We might... I think our prawn suit is down here. Oh, this was a massive setback, everyone. Enormous. Let's go ahead and turn on our prawn suit, which should still be here. And let's see if we can find... If we can find a little magnetite outcrop, that'd be... That'd be awesome. Let's actually keep our eyes peeled, too. We've got the silver ore. We actually have one magnetite right here. And we've got another one. We have everything we need. But I'm going to try to go for just a tiny bit more. That's the good thing about this area. I had a feeling there would be a ton down here. Oh yeah, there's so much. Dude, I love this game. I love this game even when it's... Look at this massive magnetite thing here. We're going to go ahead and just collect all of this. Welcome aboard, Captain. We got to make the grappling arm for this. Let's go ahead and drill this. I love this game, even when it tortures me. Even when it makes me super crazy afraid because there are reapers and all kinds of monsters that want to hurt me. I love this game even when it destroys my sea moth. My second sea moth, specifically. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Am I ever actually going to be able to finish this game? I just... I can't believe it. That's the, the amazing thing, is that you, I sit down to record, and I always talk about this, but there's just always so many surprises. I never know what to expect. I might have a tiny bit of a plan, but this game always has different ideas for me. You know, you see something very cool, you're like, let me go explore over there instead. Go ahead and grab all of this. What happened? Grab all the magnetite. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. The dreamer is still here. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, you can't, you just can't plan. You can't account for everything. And that's part of the fun, right? That's for Subnautica. That's part of, you know, that's life in a nutshell. You just gotta embrace it and do your best. Incredible. I'm having an absolute blast. Thanks for, for still being here. How many strikes is it before we just all give up on me, right? So we've got 100% now. We can go make this upgrade. 14 magnetite. I'm gonna go ahead and chuck all the magnetite into one of those lockers. It'd be very nice to be able to make the electric charge thing, but... Okay, this is all going to be magnetite, except for we're going to leave two. And we have some extra lithium. We can put this away. I want to make sure, do we need any lithium? No, we don't. Okay, let's put away all the lithium. Now we can actually make this upgrade. What am I missing? Oh, right, right. We actually need to... Oh. It's brutal. Okay. We actually need the level one one, and now we can do it. Now 200 meters. Yeah, we're okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Now for the level, we need that and three rubies. Let me get rid of everything else. We got a ton of blueprints. Okay, do we have a, an extra one of that thing? Okay, so a ton of titanium. 
and two lithium. We should be able to make one of these. One, two lithium and a ton of titanium. <laughs> I'm just bringing all that. That should be enough. We just need one of those things. Okay. And then we're going to need some rubies. I'm pretty sure we have a ton of rubies around here. Good job. There it is. Now we just need three rubies. One ruby. Two rubies. We just need one more. Send your energy, everybody. Just one ruby. There it is. Okay, cool. We're going to be able to make this. The last thing would be... Okay, the sand shark's making a lot of noise. The last thing would be if we want to make the electric charge one. But, I don't know. I don't know about that. Electric charge. You need that green juice. You see how difficult it is to make the green juice, everyone? You need gold and you need this. That's actually not bad. I think we should be able to make this really fast because we've got one, two, three. We've got three of those. We have salt right over here in this. Just gonna go ahead and collect that. There's one salt. And now all we, we have plenty of gold. Okay, that was easy. Oh no, no, we need a bit of silver. Which silver? Do we have silver? Man, I'm seeing the magnetite there too. There we go. We've got the silver now. That's all it takes to build a wiring kit, I'm pretty sure. This should be everything we need. Please. <laughs> Yo, this is what you gotta do every time? Every time you lose a CMOP? I don't even wanna remember how difficult it is to make a uh, Cyclops. If we bring our Cyclops all the way down there. There we go. We should be good. Let's go make this thing. Yo, I did the same thing last time. Where do you build this? Vehicle upgrades. Oh, right, right. It's over here, right? This is where it is. Oh, this one always gets me. Yep. There's the electric system. I don't remember if we had an extra one of that, but whatever. Okay. Now we should have everything. We should be all caught up. <laughs> We had to spend a little bit more time. It wasn't too bad. We have the level three now, 900 meters. Oh, but we don't have we don't have the whole one, and that one's so important. I would say it's probably one of the most important, right? Whole reinforcement. We could do that. We just need one lithium, and then we need a ton of diamonds. Send your energy so we have diamonds, everyone. I'm pretty sure we should be fine. I've been collecting those. One. One diamond. Oh yeah, here we go. There it is, and now we're officially ready. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Let me know in your playthrough, do you remember how many times you lost the CMOP? Help me feel better about myself, right? Come on, throw me a bone. Even if you have to lie about it. Awesome, okay, last thing, we just, we're gonna eat really fast. All of this. Beautiful. Might just bring a med pack with me just in case. Okay. Get me out of that. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Now we're officially doing it, everybody. Let's get back over there. We're not losing the sea moth. We're going back over there. We're not losing the Seamoth. We're gonna look behind the Aurora. We are not losing the Seamoth. I dare a Reaper to try to destroy this thing today. I will go out there with a knife. Okay, so I just wanted to get rid of uh, this. We don't need this anymore. And also, we can just get rid of a bunch of these. Get rid of that. Cool. I am going to save really fast because imagine that we lose everything. That'd be terrible. I think we just made some more water. <laughs>
Okay, send your energy, everybody, so we really don't lose our Seamoth. We don't lose the Dreamer. Okay. We're gonna go on the other side of the Aurora. There might not be anything. I remember the Aurora being on a crater, right? We're kind of... This is where the Aurora crashed. When I was on that side many, many episodes ago, I, the only times I've been there was when I scanned the Reaper in episode, like, 18 or something. And then when we visited the Aurora, episode, like, 7 or so. I barely explored around there, though. So how is there not anything for the sea moth like nothing fell you would think there'd be like a ton of metal salvage or something okay let's do this while it's light out here we go here goes nothing we're gonna have to juke out the, the first reaper okay we have everything we need we have all the water we're good 94% charge. It's not too shabby. Okay. Just gonna sneak across with this one entrance. Send your energy. Please send your... If you don't send the energy, we are losing another Seamoth today. I need you to send the energy, please. <laughs> Do we want to go through the rebuilding process all over again? No. All right. We're going to hug this corner. Wow. They are shaking the screen. I was always curious. We better not go out here and it's nighttime, though. So I just wanted to see what was on the other side of this. I hope there's something. It's so crazy murky. There might not be anything on the other side. Oh, here we go. Is everyone ready for this? What do we got here? Is this important? We are we are losing daylight. We got to get out of there. We got to go. Oh, they're really going to make us go all the way up to the top. I hate this, man. I hate this. This is so brutal, man. See, I'm definitely seeing stuff down there. Okay, this is what I wanted. Let's go down. Send your energy, everyone. Let's go explore. If we can. It might just be the crater's edge. There might not be anything over here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go down. We got a stalker. We had the camera go out this way a tiny bit. Time capsule. Oh, Reaper. I'm going for it. You really picked a heck of a spot. I don't know if it's custom or what. Hope you make it, Survivor. Me too. Me too. Yo, rock and roll. Okay. Well, thank you for that. We got some extra stuff, so that's good. I feel like there has to be a wreck over here. Because the Aurora crashed. I see another Reaper over there. We're fine, though. But are we actually doing this at night? 300 meters? I don't know. No, it's just dark. Just wanted to look a tiny bit. Because this is it. We haven't really looked a whole lot over here, everyone. Just trying to justify it. There might not be anything, but there might be something. Something that's a massive game changer. Definitely Yuri. These are not our friendly sand sharks. Hmm. We are 300 meters right now. Still 100% health. We got some good resources.
Hmm. Well, out of curiosity. Don't do it. Don't do it, stalker. Out of curiosity, I'm just gonna see what's in this one. Yeah, okay. You know, because that's a heck of a spot. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. I'm loving this whole upgrade, though. This thing is... It is fantastic. So, no wreck. No wreck near the Aurora, which makes sense. I mean, it is the wreck. <laughs> it's a huge wreck. <laughs> but we are still looking, everyone. We are determined. I'm, like, pretty sure this is where... You were fighting for water earlier. I'm seeing that Reaper. Just looking. We're coasting. Everything's fine. Keep sending the energy. You're doing a great job. Hmm. I wonder if I can lure the Reaper out and get a Ghost Leviathan to come too. 100% health. 84%. I thought it said 48 for a moment. I was like, are you kidding me already? Look how massive that drop is. So this is now entering possible, like, bone shark territory, that other biome. Right, doesn't it seem? Like, look, look how massive the drop is, everyone. It's good to know. There might not be anything, but that's fine. I had to check. I kind of wish I brought the sonar. I'm not going to lie. I think this will bring us right into the bone shark thing where we found that one alien room. We got a ton of metal scraps. So quiet. All right. Nothing else? Just a whole lot of really, really quiet. That's it. My eyes are playing tricks on me, man. It's dark out here, guys. It is really dark. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This brings you into the uh, the bone shark zone where we found that one life pot that I had so much trouble with, right? Because, yeah, it's southwest. It sounds like we're going towards a reaper right now. It is crazy. Just a massive stretch. Dude, if y'all actually know where I am, you, like, recognize my location. <laughs> oh, I'm still learning. Habitat's emergency power. Okay. We're going to see where we are in comparison to the Aurora. My gosh, we were crazy deep. 200. We're still, still going. 252. This is insane. That would be so terrifying. Okay, 200. We are rising. We're going all the way up. Started from the bottom. That is just crazy. 73% charge. We're doing fine. There's the surface. <laughs> 80 meters. There we go. 50. Okay, where's this Aurora? You see, we're directly behind it. That is awesome. I, I really thought, I really thought there was going to be more. Thought there was going to be some more, but uh, doesn't look like it, everyone. Habitat power restored. I mean, not really the time to be doing all of that, but <laughs> I'm going to go all the way back down to the bottom. I'm just going to do a little bit closer to the Aurora this time. Just see. And uh, and then that'll be it. That's kind of where we'll be like, all right, we're, we're, we're good. We know now what is out here. And the answer is not a whole lot. Okay, cool. I mean, especially hard to be doing all of this at night, right? Because, yeah, this is the southwest. This will bring us... We are southwest of the back, so this will actually bring us over to that life pod. 
and we already discovered like the alien room over here we have kind of already seen everything this area has to offer I'm pretty sure hmm let's go over towards the Aurora again oh, if we actually managed to uh, to miss a wreck though that would be unfortunate huh? okay yeah this now this is the actual area where that life pod is what's this this is like a microscope thing right oh it's just the modification station the gift my goodness quickly repair go 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 let's get the heck out of here modification station the gift that keeps on giving Okay. I'm gonna look one more time a little bit closer to the Aurora. This is I'm pretty sure this this is like where that one Reaper is. The one that we fed last episode. And we did find everything that was in the uh the Aurora, right? No reason to go back there. It is good to know that out here, there are a ton of uh, just metal scraps. So much metal salvage. Hmm. It would be so awesome if there was an alien room here. That would be so cool. Why am I so obsessed with finding all the alien rooms? I don't know. <laughs> I just think it's so, so much fun. It is so great. All right. We are really, really examining all of this. By the looks of it, there isn't anything else. But it is awesome. Guess we're going to go around this way. We are hearing them, but we're not seeing them. Hmm. Go through this. We do have our electric power if we decide to use it. So this was down and around. This will bring us over to the base where we kind of started. They're playing some music right now. You're playing some music like I should be worried. But I think we're fine. Hmm. Now it stopped playing that music. What the heck? Did I mess it up? 200 meters. What is this spot? This, this actually might... I, I don't know. Not entirely sure what this is. We're fine. Let's go all the way up. Okay. Yeah, this is the uh this is the other side of it. Dude, it's just so awesome. <laughs> oh, I think it's just so cool. I love it, everyone. I can't help myself. It's just so much fun. Love that there's like a little sand waterfall. The back of the aurora. It's just way too cool. Well, I did, I, you know, I did think there was going to be a, a wreck or something, but, you know, I guess it kind of makes sense. I thought it'd be like way off of the aurora, though. The bad news is. We didn't discover anything new over by the Aurora. That's the bad news. But the good news is we didn't lose the Dreamer. Seamoth number three is all good. Still here. Man, we really went out. 
let's park the Seamoth way over here. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm getting rid of... We need to... I'm gonna get rid of these guys. You gotta get out of here. You gotta leave us alone. Come here. Go! <laughs> Keep going that way. I'm gonna hit him one more time. You gotta leave... One more hit. There it is. All right. Now we're okay. We've got the dreamer. We are fine. No one is driving the Cyclops right into it. We are not losing this one. I refuse to let that happen. We're going to end the episode right there, everyone. In the next episode, we're going to break all of this down and we're going to take that Cyclops and we're gonna bring it down and start our new base uh, over by, we'll see, somewhere in the Lost River or the Cove Tree. <laughs> A massive thank you to the patrons and channel members that helped make this video possible. All right, that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you could leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. If you're new, that would really, really mean a lot. There's more awesomeness coming soon. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you soon. Later, later.